Hello, I'm Sheila Averbuck from Space Kids Books with another Social Sheila video trying to show children's authors and illustrators how to make better use of social media. We're talking about Google Plus today and I see you rolling your eyes because you're saying, oh, this is another social network that I need to have an identity on, but Google Plus is different. Google Plus uh, is seen by Google as the interconnecting fabric, as one expert explained it to me, the interconnecting fabric among all the services that Google is offering, including search, including mail, including YouTube. Um, unlike the other social networks out there, Google is actually trying to organize all of the world's information. And one way that you can help Google do that is by letting Google know content that you have written uh, on the internet with Google Authorship. I'm going to show you how to activate your Google Authorship if you haven't. Just go to google.com forward slash plus, that's P-L-U-S, the word plus, and you will see your Google Plus profile. If you don't already have a Google Plus profile, which you probably do if you have a Gmail address, it's free to set up. Just go to google.com forward slash plus and get yourself a free Google Plus profile. In the upper right hand corner you can see my face. You're definitely going to need to sign up for your Google Plus profile with your real first name, surname, and a good headshot of yourself. Um, no full body shots, um, just a proper face on shot of yourself. Then we're going to go and click the down arrow and click view profile. What we want to do here is claim Google authorship for any content that you've created, specifically blogs. So can you see in the upper left of the screen, I'm going to click About. This is my profile page, and I'm going to click About, and scroll down to the bottom to this section called Links. This shows Google where to find content that I have created on the internet. Um, so these are some of the links where Google can find my content on LinkedIn, Twitter, Flickr, and you want to just click the word Edit, and see where it says down here contributor to then click add custom link and give Google the address of any blog for instance where you are creating um, where you are creating content so I'm gonna give it um, the uh, name of my blog which is space kids books space kids books .com, and say that I'm a current contributor and say save then I have to actually go back to my blog space kids books and connect my blog to my Google Plus page. The way that you can do that is by scrolling up again, see my face up in the upper right hand corner, clicking the down arrow again, and then just going down to privacy. Once I'm in privacy, I'll see a little snippet of how Google sees me here, and I'll see this long weird web address. This is my Google Plus profile page. Now, I know that not everybody has a WordPress blog, but if you do, this is how you would connect your WordPress blog to your Google Plus profile. I'm just going to go to my login for my Space Kids book blog, click login, and on the left hand side, this is pretty standard, just click users. See here on the left, users, and I'm going to click your profile. This is my author page on my blog. And I'm going to scroll down and put, I've actually already put it in here, my Google Plus ID. This now tells my blog to recognize Google Plus and my and Google Plus I've already told to recognize my blog. Um, this Google authorship really protects you and the content that you have created against spammers online who might be interested in um, you know screen scraping your blog or basically ripping off the work that you have done. You want Google number one to know about the content that you created and to know that you were the one who created it and you also want to be recognized as an authority in your subject area. Google is looking for signals as to how to deliver the best search results when people are looking for something online and if they can see that you are creating content on your blog or in the fiction that you've created about a certain subject area, Google will get the idea that you are an expert. Now whether that's in the, the topic of, of the the fiction that you're doing or just picture books in general knowing that you're a children's picture book illustrator or writer or perhaps if you are offering a service to writers such as you know coaching or uh, writing tips or workshops on developing plot or voice or whatever you want to give Google all the information it can to uh, determine that you are an expert in your field that's all I'm going to show you for today I hope you got something useful out of this social media video I'll be posting more each month on words and pictures thanks